We all know snakes are very dangerous. They bite around 5 million people around the globe each year, from which 2 to 3 million suffer from illnesses and 100,000 lost their lives. Snake bites also cause three times as many as permanent disabilities and amputation. Salsky viper snake is responsible for most human deaths, but it's not the most venomous. That award goes to the inland type venom, the most venomous snake in the world. It is so venomous that one bite of the inland type pen can kill up to 100 adult humans. And I got to know snake uses their tongue to pick up the particles from the air for smelling in 3D. Yeah, they are both fascinating and deadly animals. So we are just casually walking through the thick bush without any protective clothing like gloves or long boots. Then suddenly, a snake bite. Damn, we got terrified. But let's step away from that snake to a safe distance. Not all snakes are venomous, even only 10 to 15% of all snakes are. But whichever snake bite in the wild, we have to consider is venomous and perform the following actions. The first thing we have to do is to stay calm. Knowing more anxiety means more heartbeat, more blood flow, so venom can spread fast. We definitely don't want that, so just stay calm. We call the emergency service, or if there are people around us, make them know we are bitten by a snake. Next, if possible, we can take a picture of the snake or mark its color pattern, shape and size. Identifying the snake will be helpful for the treatment. Though, don't try to capture or kill the snake, that will put us into more danger. We are calm, the help is on the way, we have noted down the snake's appearance and the time of the bite. Okay. Now we have to remove all the tight wearings around the bite and the body like rings, watches, bracelets and stuff. Because if swelling occurs, these tight things can cause serious problems, so remove them. But we still have to decrease the venom spreading speed through the body, as we consider the snake is venomous. For this, we have to make sure the bite mark is below our heart level. Now, take a stick and two pieces of dry cloth or bandage cause. Here, we assume the snake bite is in the leg. First, wrap the cloth or bandage around the bite itself for a few times. Of course, not too tightly. Then, continue to wrap around the whole leg up to its joint with the body. Then, we take the stick and wrap that with tape or something along the leg like this. When finished on the bandage, we mark the side of the bite with the marker. This technique is the same for the hand. With this bandage, we are immobilizing the leg, which can slow the spread of the venom by blocking and restricting the superficial lymphatics and the movement of muscles around the bite. Don't tie too much so it cut off the blood supply like a tourniquet. It should be tightened so that one finger can easily be fitted through the bandage. This is the same for immobilizing any parts. Before immobilizing the limb, we can wash the bite with soap and water if that's accessible. After that, we have to get to the hospital as soon as possible, either by an ambulance or other people to get treatment. The victim obviously should not drive because of high chances of making accident as the symptoms slowly appear. Like driving, there are things we should not do during a snake bite, such as applying tourniquet. Don't do that. It would restrict the blood supply and cause massive swelling and other complications. Like, when removed quickly, it will cause lethal gush of blood and poison into the body. Like that, cutting and squeezing the wound, sucking out the poison, waiting for the symptoms to appear, applying ice, taking alcohol, caffeine or pain relieving or any medications need to be avoided. Don't do them at all, it's just a waste of time and dangerous. When we get to the hospital, doctors will evaluate the bite and the symptoms to determine whether to give or not give the antivenom. That's because as I said, not all snakes are venomous. To talk about the symptoms, the type of snake venom and how antivenom are made, that deserves its own video. If you want to know, leave a comment. If you are interested, I will make that video. Until then, why not subscribing to MDKB and learn about the greatest mystery of medical field. Stay safe, stay healthy and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.